Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and a retirement worth having. When you're living in the elements, when you're traveling, when you're doing new things, you're always looking for the next place to make a living and the next place to live. What people who work for apartment complexes like maintenance men and other people who do the retail aspect of selling them don't think about is how people research where they're going to live. I've been mulling around a building that I kind of like. I like where it is, I like the location, I like the local surroundings, I like the people, but what I'm finding is I don't like the fucking company employees. And that makes a difference to me. I've lived in places where I didn't like the employees and it caused me a problem. When I lived in a simple townhouse where there was just the landlord that I was paying and basically a guy that my family knew in the community, that was enough for me. And I was okay with that. But the minute that I moved into a community complex owned by a big conglomerate, it became hellish life for me. Always things were stolen, always things were monkeyed with, always things from maintenance were being lied about, and I get tired of it. But when I'm talking about human rights, I am talking about the right to do things, the right to say things, the right to express ourselves, and the right to be things. And these little kids on this campus who are 20 years old think that an old man's life is funny to play with. I don't find so. If it was happening to them, they'd be upset. If it was happening to their family members, they'd be furious. But let me tell you, rage is one of those things that come to everyone. And when you're being mocked, stalked, harassed, shaved, cut, and all these little ridiculous things in the night because you're sound asleep, and people just think, we'll just do this because we want to, it makes anyone furious. Now when I talk about these things, you can say, oh, he's just having a delirious moment. No, I'm not. These are factual situations going on for a man in a community where they're supposed to be all about diversity, all about love, all about care, and all about not playing with me. Even sitting down here, I got some black man walking up to me trying to play me with a dollar. Why? Why are you trying to play me with a dollar? What do you think you're going to take from me now? You've already taken my mirror. You've taken my cords. I am not your 7-Eleven store. 